All right, Frank Stanford, untitled poem. I bought a ticket to Russia so I could do that dance in the snow. I saw a calf of miasmas run into barbed wire. I saw a child hang himself at a certain angle so he could see his shadow a thousandfold. When I was seven, I wrote a novel of apples and milk that lamented the passing of a moonlike character, one certain DeLorean and his coughing sidekick, the beast of ice. At night, I revved a blue guitar with swords through the bay. I made my way, the gills turning pink in my shoes, up the fearful symmetry of that stretch of anonymous water. I lent out my broom to the clandestine pollen. I laid my head in the prostitute's lap. I interpreted the dementia of the cheerleader's waist. Going to sleep in the dust was my only accomplishment, my destiny. Drenched in the garden of slime and mistrusted mystery, I was accused of the odor of vengeance. The only friend I had I could trust froze in the clover, through the valleys, through the shadowy doorways, through the merchandise of the schoolrooms, I go luminous, a walking disaster, forever fighting off dribbling flies that smell of mayonnaise and pencils, that whistle like flowers of the law. Through the duration, I made myself bleed in a gallop. I listened to the noises in the thistle of the dark. I kept moving undiminished and scorched, holding a light to the egg. Slashed and weaving, I pursued the murmuring cinders. I stagger through the familiar juices of the moon as if I earn my living in a rodeo, I ride down each tear. I pierce the ooze with a submerged kiss stung under contempt and despair. I assume the span of the figurehead's breasts, ravished to smithereens. I pass the time in Emily Dickinson's outhouse. I pace through the dishevelment of the recluse's lacuna. I scrawl on the mirror and peel oranges in the shepherd boy's confessional. In the fall of the year, I watch the meadows, shivering like so many sorrel mares in heat. I lurk behind the canvas of the traveling picture show, smelling of sardines, Sarah Bundy's boiled coffee, black as the color of the school marm's hems, pulled up like drapes. I wait with my ticket, the knife like a pre-Raphaelite suicide. Drunk on the ruins, regards of Dixie hummingbirds, the black discs the Negroes sail over the levee and shoot out of the sky with a hair-triggered shotgun. <laughs>